Winners of two of their last three, the UMass Lowell men's basketball team looks to keep things rolling this week with a pair of games against Maine and UMBC. The Riverhawks beat Hartford on a last second basket while sweeping the season series from Vermont in a high scoring affair Monday night. While taking the series from UVM was big for the program, assistant coach Biko Paris says it's a testament to the team's hard work. As a program, it's huge for us. Uh, Vermont's a, a really good team. They're known around the league, around the, around the country. Um, they have a great team, um, a little young, kind of rebuilding, but for us to take a step and kind of get those guys twice is, is really promising for our program. I think our guys come in and work hard every day. Um, and, to, and to defeat a team like that, that's, they got a lot of skilled players, toughness, um, a lot of size to really shoot the ball. Um, says a lot about our guys and how hard they've been working and the, and the strides that they're making. So um, I know these guys are pretty excited, but we tell them they gotta, gotta move on from that and, and kind of look forward to playing Maine. Um, and you'll be see this upcoming games. The Riverhawks limited a talented Catamount front court and look to do the same against the Black Bears and Retrievers this week. The team has offset their lack of size inside with help from their guards coming down and a relentless defensive mentality. We just fight no matter what and we don't just defend the post with our big guys. And then the guards get in there and help make those guys feel uncomfortable. We try to do a great job of not even letting the ball get down there. And, um, and when they do get it, we just try and battle as much as possible, make those guys take and make really tough shots, nothing easy. Um, and our guys are buying in and, and trying to do as best of a job they can to, to make everything that we give up really, really difficult. Maine's activity on the offensive glass in their first meeting led to 23 second chance points and was ultimately what got the better of the Riverhawks. Paris says the team has taken some positive strides since their third game of conference play. I think we're a better team than the first time we played Maine. Um, we, we, break down, we broke down the tape uh, thoroughly. Uh, saw our mistakes that we made, um, pointed them out to the guys, and we just want to be aggressive um, and kind of match their energy. They're a really great team. Uh, Coach Bob Walsh is doing a terrific job with those guys. Similar to us in a lot of ways where they have a lot of young guys contributing at the time. Um, they just feel a different style, but uh, we just have to be, be aggressive, be confident, and trust the game, trust the system. Paris expects a tough game from UMBC as well after the Riverhawks beat them in an overtime thriller down in Baltimore. They have a lot of good guards that can really put the ball on the floor and get to the basket. That's really good in ball screen situations. We got to come out and have the same intensity and fight that we had down there at UMBC because we know that they're going to come in our house ready to play and try to get a win. So uh, just playing as hard as we can and, and on the perimeter keeping those guards out of the paint is going to be key for us. The Riverhawks and Black Bears tip off from the Cross Insurance Center Thursday at 4 p.m. Sunday's matchup at the Costello Athletic Center against UMBC is set for a noon start. Both contests can be streamed on AmericaEast.tv or heard on the Riverhawk Network.